In this video, Madeline and Angela, members of Cicada Crew UMD, will walk you through how to net a small tree in order to exclude cicadas and their egg laying damage. Due to the mass emergence of periodical cicadas, there will be lots of females creating these oviposition scars in order to lay their eggs. Larger trees can tolerate this branch dieback caused by the oviposition scars and often recuperate. Smaller trees, on the other hand, experience stress and may even experience tree death. To protect small trees, netting can be placed over the tree canopy before periodical cicada emergence. The netting should be left on the tree until there is no longer any adult periodical cicada activity and most of the adults have diminished. For the Brood 10 2021 emergence in the DMV area, we recommend putting up tree netting before mid-May and leaving it on until the end of June. Let's now walk through how to net a small tree. Our example tree today is a small Japanese Cornell dogwood at the University of Maryland College Park campus. Materials needed include a tape measure in order to measure the height and the width of your tree, some string to secure the netting around the trunk of the tree, some twisty ties and or some zip ties to close any loose openings after installment, some scissors, and some pruners to cut any stray branches that might be in your way. You'll also need netting with an opening of 3 8 of an inch or less in order to exclude adult cicadas. First, measure the height and the width of your small tree. This is to approximate how much netting you will need in order to cover the entire canopy of the tree from the top branches down to where the branches stem out from the trunk. With your tree measurements, multiply the height of your tree times two and then add the width of the tree. This final number will be the approximate length of netting you will need. Note the width of the netting that you purchased. Cut your netting to the appropriate length. Next, lay out your netting and grab a zip tie or a twisty tie. Find the approximate center of your netting and mark this spot with that zip tie or twisty tie. Place your netting over your tree, aiming for that zip tie or twisty tie to be at the top center of your tree canopy. Check to see if all sides of your netting are evenly draped around the tree. Begin gathering the ends of your netting, bunching it right below where the branches begin to stem from the trunk. Once the ends of the netting are cinched in and in place, grab a piece of string. This string will be used to secure the netting to the trunk of the tree. The string can be looped around the trunk multiple times in order to make sure no cicadas will be crawling upward into your tree canopy. We do want to make sure that the string isn't too tight as we do not want to restrict the trunk. Next, grab some scissors and cut off any excess netting that may be hanging down and dragging on the ground. We want to cut off this excess in order to prevent any wildlife from being caught up in the net. Inspect your netting all the way around the canopy of your tree looking for any loose openings. You can use one of your zip ties or twisty ties to close these loose openings. Thank you. 
Finally, look at your netting one more time for any openings and making sure to secure things in place. Once you are satisfied, you've done it. You've protected your small tree from periodical cicada egg laying damage. Thank you for watching. If you would like to learn more about periodical cicadas, especially Brood 10 that is coming in the year 2021, please check out our website, cicadacrewumd.weebly.com.